Hello everybody, my name is Rich Palladino. You are watching us on the High Spots Network. This is for Wrestling Has a Tomorrow. One of our profile features, a new feature that we're offering to our fans. And I'm here with one of my favorite people in professional wrestling, my good friend Rachel Ellering. Rachel, welcome. Well, we're here in beautiful Providence, Rhode Island. We so are, we are. Thank you, thank you for having me. And you're one of my favorite people. I. I was just telling JT earlier, I'm like, he needs to just be on every show. Because <laughs> when you announce me, I'm like, I feel so special. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm important where other places it's like, from St. Paul, Minnesota, <laughs> no, 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 Rachel Elring. And here I'm like, man, I feel like I'm in <laughs> WrestleMania or something <laughs> here that's, in Providence. That's, what I, that's the vibe I try to give, but this is not about me, this is about you. All right, all so right. So we want our fans to know a little bit more about Rachel Ellering. So obviously, your dad, the legendary Precious Paul Ellering. I still call him Precious because I remember when he was a wrestler before fair, fair. managing the Road Warriors. But what was it like growing up in a wrestling family? You know, it was a little different than I think most people expect. My dad didn't let us watch wrestling growing up. And so his personal life and work life were very, very separated. And so I remember being at school and people would always ask me questions and I almost just didn't even understand mm. because I had no exposure to that side of him, right? Yeah. And so it really wasn't until his Hall of Fame induction in 2011 that I was like, wow, he was a big deal, yeah. right? And because right. you just, for me, it's like, that's just my dad. Yeah. You know, it's not like when I'm home, I you know, call him Precious Paul or, or anything. That's just dad, that's, right? That's a very natural thing for me because I am more yeah. than twice your age. Fair. And I grew up watching him during the bodybuilder days. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I go way back. So, you know, most fans only know of him as, you know, managing the road warriors, yeah. managing Legion of Doom, you know. But, um, yeah. but I mean, it's it, it had to be just such a, I mean, as you get older and you realize, hey, you know, yeah, my dad didn't go to an office nine to five every day. For sure. He had a rolled up Wall Street Journal and <laughs> yeah. at one point had uh, Rocco or, yep. or whatever. But, you know, I mean, so that had to be something. So from there, you didn't, you really weren't supposed to watch it as a kid. So yeah. how did you actually end up? So now it's very cool. Like you said, as you grow older and, you know, as I fall more and more in love with wrestling, every day I fall in love with it more. It's so cool because I can respect and understand what he went through, yeah. you know, and, and I can kind of understand why he wanted to keep those things very separate, right? But it, I love that he didn't have a nine to five job because yeah. I never wanted that either, you know? And so we're very much the same person. Mm -hmm. I am him, just young girl form, right? In all aspects, whether it was powerlifting before wrestling and now wrestling, we're both slightly stubborn, even if I don't <laughs> like to admit that. But yeah, it, it was just, it's very different, you know, as you grow older, viewing that in a different light. And yeah, now, now it's pretty cool. I can pick his brain a little bit. And he, he appreciates that I put a lot of work into this, you yeah. know, and I think I love it for the right reasons. And I work really, really hard to always, you know, put on a good show for people. They spend mm -hmm. their hard earned money coming to watch us. And I always want to. Quite the following. I, do. yeah, do. I, do. I do. yeah, for such a short amount of time in wrestling, I'm very, very lucky. Very lucky. I, I just hit two and a half years in. That was my next question. Yeah, so I'm still a baby. I'm yeah. still a little baby in oh, comparison absolutely. to some people. And I'm, I'm very, very blessed, very blessed. People have been really, really good to me. And before we started actually recording this interview, you and I just kind of sat here. Yeah. Just shooting the breeze <laughs> yeah. about wrestling. And one thing that really stuck out in my mind is um, you've been to Japan. Yeah. You're going back to Japan. So. Tell me about the experience over there. Rich, Japan is my favorite place. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. So I've always been obsessed with like all Japan women's from the 80s and 90s. So that was a fascination for me anyways. And then going over there for stardom, I mean, I just fell in love with the culture and the people. They're so welcoming, they're so kind. It's a diff different atmosphere at shows. It's treated more as like a sport compared to oh, sports absolutely. entertainment here. And I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I love that when they're quiet, it isn't because they don't like what's going no. on. They're just attentively watching yeah. and they're appreciative of the work that people are putting in. Yes. And I think that's the coolest thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so a big I'm. Big difference. It's, it's big it's, difference. And, and I mean, I can't speak for today, but it's. Professional wrestling is covered over there the way we would cover like baseball and football. And Absolutely, States, yeah. Which is just amazing. I love Absolutely. it. Yeah. I love it. I wish it was more like that here. <laughs> I love it here, but it's just such a it's such a cool difference, you know. And I go back uh, for six weeks for the five star Grand Prix with Stardom, and so I leave August sixteenth, and I'll be back at the beginning of October. So a very good amount of time and. 
you know, it's cool because we're not just in Tokyo. That's where we're based. That's yep. where Stardom's based. But, you know, we get to travel all over, and that's one of the coolest things about wrestling. You know, I'm sure, oh, yeah. as you know, is going to different states and countries and meeting people from all over the world, and we all have this crazy love of wrestling, right? So right. even if we don't speak the same language or you've never met 99% of the people in the crowd tonight. We all love the same thing, so it brings us together. It's a common bond. That's yeah. what I always, I always try to explain it. It's like you have your friends from high school or college. Everybody gets married, has kids, moves yeah. on. You see them maybe once every couple of years. You get the people you work with in the nine to five life. Yeah, those are the people you work with. Yeah. But here it's like we all have the same common synergy. It's the same bond. And we could sit here and we could talk about wrestling in the 80s and the 90s. Of course, yeah. The stuff I saw before you were born. Um, and then, you know, and then here we are today. Yeah. You know, on, on the same events, working together in front of different audiences. You, yeah. more places than I. Yeah. And, but I think that's absolutely awesome because yeah, you are a true asset to this business. I've told you that before. Thank you. I um, appreciate that. We, talk about, we talked about your dad. Yeah. But you had some formal training. But you were formal training with, of course, Lance Storm. Yeah, my other dad. Your other dad, yeah, Lance. Yeah, my other dad. Yeah, I stole his last name for this other company. <laughs> that I work for every now and then. Rachel Storm. Uh, Rachel Storm, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for those who didn't know, I've been going by that. No, uh, Rachel Evers. And so that's Lance's real last name. So sometimes people get a little bucky because they're like, oh, you don't want to be an Ellery and you know, you're ditching your last name. And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't have a say in it. Like, right. that's not how that works at that all. That was an Amy Young classic. Yeah. Rachel Evers. Yeah. And so they. WWE was, I'm very lucky they asked for my input on that because they could have made me Rachel Smith, right? And I would not have a say and it is what it is. Yeah. But they asked if I had any suggestions and I wanted to keep RE, my initials. And so I was trying to think of good E last names that are not Ellerine and, and Lance's real last name Evers is, it's like the ultimate tribute to him, you know? And I'm very, very close with him. I talk to him almost every day still. Uh, training with him is just, it's a three month camp, right? And he taught me how to take my first bump. And then the day after I finished camp, I had my first match. And so he, he taught me every everything I know. I owe him absolutely everything. I forever will. I always tell him, I'm like, I'm forever in debt to you because how do you, how do you repay someone who taught you how to do what you love, you of know? And of course. when you're up there, I, I just felt like I, found myself and you know became the person I always wanted to be because yeah. ever since I was 16 this is what I wanted to do and you know he helped me get to the point where I could do it right so he's like the greatest human being that's ever that's ever lived so let's follow up on that yeah. right here in this building that we're speaking in, in Providence we had yourself with your dad Lance yep, my as dad the guest Lance. referee as you yeah. wrestled a fellow trainee of Lance Storms of course Tamil Dashwood yeah but how how awesome was that Rich, that was so cool. So she's somebody I never thought I'd get to wrestle, you know, just because she was on such a higher level. And, you know, I'm really just getting started with my career. And so, one, it was just very cool to, you know, work with her and learn from her and just spend one-on-one -on -one time with her. Mm -hmm. I'd met her in passing a couple times, but, you know, it's rare that you get to just sit down and have a couple hours with somebody like that. And she's sure. done so much, mm -hmm. you know, obviously on the highest levels of things. And so there's a lot I can learn from her. And I did. And then Lance being there, cherry on top. Yeah. It was so cool. It was a special moment. Oh, it was so it was special. Really I had goosebumps. And when I found out he was going to be here, I like teared up. I almost got emotional. I hadn't seen him in a while. And he, my first match ever was a mixed tag and he was my partner which is so How cool. Awesome. So it's like forever my favorite match. I probably was terrible. I don't even want to go back and watch it. I probably was the just the worst, but it's so cool because, you know, those are things you don't really expect that'll happen. Yeah. Teaming with him and then him being the ref and getting to kick him in the face and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. So it was it was very, very special. And I'm pretty sure that footage will be available on High Spots if it's not already. Check it out. So yeah. It well, Rachel, I want to wish you best of luck in Japan. Thank you, Rachel. It's an absolute pleasure always having you. Yeah, time. now we'll sit here for another hour and, and yeah. talk. Like we're going to we shut off the camera. We're just going to be talking. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, you're going to get out there, go sell some merch, and then. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll wrestle tonight in this because I'll just be in here and my musical hit and enter through the other door. <laughs> See, this is what happens. So it is, yeah. On that note, yes. thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate it. You're the best. <laughs> thank you, guys.
Hello. Just send us a copy. Yeah, those yeah. Are, those yeah. Are regular, regular Conversations with Rich and Rachel. Hello. The, R &R, the, the other R&R Express. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not as great.